Hi everybody, it's Russ. This is uh, day four. Yesterday was a bad day and things did not work out. So today is day four and uh, video three. Uh, build my own power supply. Here's what I got for you. Like, good news, bad news. Good news is things are turning out okay. Bad news is I can't tie any of the grounds together on my circuitry. It causes a problem. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you the schematic that I made up. Um, here's the whole schematic that uh, it's not 100% finished, but this is what I wanted to do. But I got to change it up now, unfortunately. So here's my uh, 555 timer pulse width modulator circuit. VR1 there in the top corner is uh, right there. That's the one that controls my pulse width. And then basically I got this uh, uh, MOSFET and it runs to this uh, opto isolator. Now I have I was going to use an opto isolator to isolate individually each power supply and uh, steer amp unit which goes out to my output and I had these relays in here that was going to switch my signals over so that I could drive um, one uh, or all four of the amps, the steer amps, I could drive those and make those work um, with one potentiometer so now I gotta go back and and switch it up again because I cannot tie the grounds together I did not realize that but I cannot tie the grounds together on the uh, on the steer amps here so here's what I got for you today this this video basically is of uh, uh, everything tied together Let's scoot back and see the giant mess I I really am being safe I promise but it is pretty messy so here's what I got um, this is circuit one power supply one circuit one it goes to steer amp one and here's the voltage for it on this meter this is circuit two power supply 2, steer amp 2, and this is the voltage on 2. Now what I can do, and later, hopefully I'll just get a potentiometer with multiple outputs. Um, trying to use all my recycled goods here. But uh, each one of these is a 555 timer circuit, just like in the schematic. Got its own power supply, it's on separate grounds. Everything here is on separate grounds, including the steer amps. But what I can do is here on this paper, as I got it drawn, I can tie right here I can tie this positive I can tie this this ground up to this positive and now use these outputs so I've got 24 volt potential here 24 volt potential here and across these two outside if I connect these two enter together I'm gonna have a 48 volt potential okay so basically I I'm still still working um, on what I'm trying to figure out. I had problems, it made me real mad. But here you go. Um, that is what I got hooked up right now, just one of them. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on and show you what's going on. It is on actually. So if I turn this potentiometer here, this voltage is gonna go up. This meter is my overall voltage. Uh oh, time out. Got a small problem. I used up all my alligator clips. Out of alligator clips? Oh yeah. How about Coca-Cola this guy? Anyway. Anyway, uh, so this is my full potential across both of my outputs here. This is output 1. This is output 2. Alright, so I'm going to turn the potentiometer here for output 1. And there it goes. So you can see this is my potential here and there across output 1. If I set output 1 at... 10 volts all right or close to it and I said output 2 here if I turn output 2 which is the other meter at 10 volts then you can see my overall voltage will be right around 20 volts see how that works so this is my overall potential between two of these now what I want is I want to be able to have four individual power supplies I want to be able to have uh, and I want to also be able to hook these up so I can have a much higher voltage. Um, these are 10 amps a piece, so I've got 40 amp potential if I connect them all in parallel, or I've got uh, at 24 volt, and I've got 96 volt at 10 amps if I connect them all in series. So that's the deal. So basically, I can, uh, if I turn all these, there's the one, and I'll turn the other one up. There you go. So there's my overall potential here, but I can only get this much out of each one. Now, if I series them, I can still only get 10 amps, but I can get a higher voltage. 
Uh, the reason I wanted to control, I was going to put switches on the front of this box when I get it done, and then it'll switch a relay here, which will internally switch the signals to the steer amps. So basically, I can take this one pulse width modulator, and uh, these relays here will switch on, and these opto isolators will then now drive all of these at the same time. So one potentiometer will control all of them. Um, I'm going to have to figure something else out because I can't tie my grounds together, and that really, really screws me up. So just for fun, this motor is nowhere supposed to go at 24 volt, <laughs> more or less 48 volts. So I'm going to crank it up. Um, see if I can get my meters in here. I'll just turn one up. All right, I got one up at uh, 4 volts. That's the one on the left. And if I turn the one up on the right to 4 volts, now I have 8 volts across that motor. Okay? So this is my overall voltage. This is how I'm going to do my power supply. Now it's running. So let's just crank it up for fun and see how many, uh, see how many we can get out of it. So there I'm at uh, 24 volts potential, 34 volts, oh, <laughs> there you go, check it out, yes, can you guys see that smoke, is that not awesome, uh, yeah I was putting too many amps through that, but that was the whole point, I wanted to make sure that I got enough current going through these steer amps, oh man that smells awesome, what do you want Snickers? Oh, kitty key, where you at? Where you at? Come over here and smell this with me. We gotta get out of here. It stinks. So, uh, there you go. Uh, probably burn some brushes. Just for fun. Let's turn it back on. Still works. We're good. There's six volts. So that's how that works. Um, that was awesome. I'm kind of excited. <laughs> Alright. Turn it off. Everything's off. So there you go. Um, basically, that stinks. Basically, that was the plan, and uh, I got screwed up with the ground wires. So I'm gonna have to either find a potentiometer that has two, you know, potentiometers within each other, and just still switch the signals. I'll have to switch the whole entire thing over, but that's fine. Uh, so there you go. This is Russ. Day four. Uh, I'm hoping to get this figured out pretty soon here, and I'll. Uh, um, slap it together. Uh, I gotta get more parts. I, uh, I got enough to build two of them here somehow, but I gotta go scrounge parts now, which really isn't fun. Alright, this is Russ. You just saw me smoke up some brushes on this motor at 48 volt. <laughs> I like it. Uh, I'm out. Alright. Peace.